Fatu is in the market. And Fatu I think would be perfect for that show. If, if Fatu and Samoa and Joe team up, wow. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. That, so there's something going on with that storyline with um, Samoa Joe. Well, so I don't know if that would fit in well, but if it doesn't work out for them with whatever they're, they're planning, that would be a great team. I don't know what their deal is when they picked up Taz. You know, at first there was rumors that he was going to be uh, a commentator on the show yeah. and uh, threatened uh, the current commentator there now. But now he's more as a mentor storyline for Samoan Joe. I think, you know, if they picked up Fought 2, they, went, they will kill that off. And you will have a somewhat of a reborn or rebirth, if you will, of the Wild Samoans. That would be excellent. And uh, they would be pretty dominant, and I think it would work for TNA. So TNA, Hell if yeah, you're listening, especially you got the Dudleys over there, you got Beer Money over there, dude. That'd be some great tag team matches over there, and, and they can separate and do their individual thing and try to hold all goals and be a dominant team and like attack the the main event mafia, dude. Those ratings will fly. Oh yeah, you know I, I think it would work um, simply because WWE don't have a tag team division anymore, and uh, TNA does. So, numerous sources are reporting that Vicky Guerrero apparently gave her notice in order to spend some more time with her daughters. But I thought she was in debt. I don't know if she's in debt or not, but that's that's the rumors going on. But my suspicion, you want to hear what my suspicion is, and I'm going to put my little spin in it? Yeah. Is that I think Vicky Guerrero is upset because of the on-screen calling her a pig and making fun of her weight. I wouldn't doubt it. She blew up, man. Well, yeah, but I mean, you you don't do that, and I think she didn't appreciate it, and I think uh, this was a reason. Uh, well, I'm sorry, a an escape goat to uh, leave because of it. I mean, come on, if you're overweight, are you, you're going to go on TV, millions of people watching, and you're going to be making fun of like that? Yeah, it's it's got to be hard. No one likes it, and um, I think that's one of the reasons why she's leaving. I mean, it's funny and all, but at the same time, you know, especially if you don't know where her weight came from. It wasn't like she was always a fat chick. Have you ever seen the old Eddie videos and stuff of the home? No. Yeah. She was yeah. never that big. I mean, so it could have been came off of Eddie's death. It could have been coming off of Eddie being gone on the road a long time while he was a champion. And then that could be memories of him. And then she's all distraught about that. I mean, you never know. That's, it's just a bad thing. I understand where she's coming from. Yeah. So that's that's my spin on it, though. Um so far, uh, the rumors are saying that she wants to spend more time with the daughters, especially That's one. Of, especially one of the daughters turned eighteen. So, it's just surprising all these people leaving, and quitting, and, and voluntarily quitting when yeah, it's an economy is all bad and people are looking for jobs. This is funny crap to me. Well, you know, it's just um, makes you wonder why people are are jumping off the ship. That's true. So anyway, um, I remember I talked to you about uh, Jeff Hardy. Um, there was no serious injuries uh, coming out of the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Now, that's that's from the WWE.com. So that little bump you said about Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Even though Jeff Hardy looked pretty banged up, he broke his finger. Really? Yeah. And that uh, he was found icing his shoulder in the back uh, backstage after the match. Yeah, that's a, the bump he took, man. He fell off the top of a ladder down on his shoulder, dude. Sleep long enough on your shoulder, you're in pain. That guy fell off a ladder. Now, here's my little spin on this. Uh, Jeff Hardy, as you know, is on his way out. Could that be kayfabe? Oh. Maybe. The broken finger, I could believe. Yeah. But the shoulder injury, again, it's another injury. This is how wrestlers uh, come out, you know, in and out as they please. Yeah, but that was a hard bump. Yeah, that one I can believe. I mean, I saw it. I that was a hard bump, dude. You know, Jeff I Hardy, even was screamed. I was like, "Shit!" Jeff Hardy does take bumps. You know, I mean, the the TLC yeah, he's, matches. He's I mean, and he bounces right back. Imagine if he was to go back to TNA. I don't think he would. I mean, there's there's. He had a good run over there. Right now, he, was, he actually had more title runs over there than he did at the WWE. Well, you on know, singles. You know, I'm going to expose this end, too, and I hope uh, I don't get Jeff Hardy mad or pissed off but uh, or in trouble. But look at all the wrestlers that said that uh, they just want to do something else. They want a, a career change. Maybe they go into movies. Maybe they want to do this. Where did they all end up at? Right back. They go right to TNA. 
Kurt Angle yeah. did it. Victoria did it. You know, all the wrestlers, uh, um, you know, they all want to just take off. And they're I think you're close because they're out of shape. Yeah. Well, except for Kurt Angle. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Jeff Hardy went ahead and said that uh, he doesn't know what he wants to do and he wants to explore their options. You know, who's saying the very same thing as Batista. Yeah, but Batista, he has no talents. Jeff Hardy, I can understand. I think he's musically gifted and he's also a painter. Who knows? Maybe he could be selling some paintings or something. Who knows what he can do? He's got talent. He's, he's all over the place. But Batista, what is he going to do? Going back to bartend? I mean, um, bouncing doors? Yeah, well, speaking about Batista, so here's that Iggy I promised you. It says right here, this is from WWE.com, okay? I'm not making this up. Batista has suffered a completely torn left bicep injuries, um, I'm sorry, requiring surgery that will keep him out of action for at least four months, uh, being hit over the last few days. Um, let's see, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it, it, they're saying that Batista is going to be out for four months because of a torn left bicep. But he, here's the thing. There are rumors. Now, here's the here's the inside little Iggy that I have. There are rumors that um, there are some talks backstage that possible that he failed the WWE wellness policy. I could believe that. That guy's super yoked, man. And this is one of the reasons why, I mean, they want to probably keep his suspension quiet. They don't want to expose him because this is his second offense. He's a favorite. And, yeah, it just goes to show you that he is the favorite. You know, he's one of the uh, the, the boys in the back. Some say that this injury is because uh, he uh, got busted. Right. So that's one of the rumors going around. Uh, and in case you didn't notice it, Jared King Lawler did most of all the announcings during that uh, injury angle with Batista on Monday Night Raw. Right. Um, word is going around that uh, it wasn't an accident. Vince McMahon wanted Lawler to call the angle instead of Michael Cole because he trusted him to uh, put it over better uh, than Cole could. Wow. So if you go back and look at Raw, check out uh, Jerry King Lawler went ahead and took over the uh, lead for that. Okay. Uh, earlier this week, there was rumors flown around backstage that at Raw that Rey Mysterio has given his notice to quit the World Wrestling Entertainment. Adding fuel to the fire was, in fact, that Mysterio dropped the Intercontinental title to Chris Jericho at Saturday's Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Right. Uh, and he was not present at Tuesday's SmackDown's taping. Wow. But do you blame him? Come on. Taking his mask off? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, another guy out the door. So... You see, you got Undertaker on, out on surgery. You got Batista out on surgery. Michaels is not coming back. Um, Kane is not coming back anytime soon. Um, they got rid of uh, JBL. They brought know. back Triple H early. Well, they brought back Triple H early, not by Triple H's, uh, not from his point of view. I mean, he if he wanted to, he could stay off more, you know, selling the injury that he took from Randy Orton. Um, again, I think we went ahead and we covered it last week that uh triple h was having uh, more fun in the backstage kind of calling the shots back there yeah. and now he has he has to i mean because there's nobody else now look at raw though I, I look at raw randy orton and triple h john cena and this show yeah how Not that impressive count how many endless pay-per-views they're going to be 